Hi, Snigerly with you again. Another review. Yes, we're getting a review a day now, aren't we? Um, another box, and this has come from Anise over in Germany, www.anise.de. And uh, this is a one man band. It's Tom, a uh, great little company. Go and have a look. There's lots and lots of detail accessories like cables and and um, little 3D, uh, 3D printed, um, well, resin 3D printed little hydraulic attachments and switches and buttons and knobs and anything you could possibly think of if you want to detail a cockpit or an undercarriage bay or something or an engine he's your man um so lots and lots of stuff he's also now doing uh programs that you can buy to use in your 3d printer so you can actually make the stuff that you'll see him advertising on his site you can actually buy the program and make it yourself so it's really cool um so I don't really know what's in here. When I did my review of the Tamiya F35, this one here, I've got the picture up now. Uh, when I did that review, um, he got in touch with me and said, I can send you some goodies for that if you like. I'm like, send me some goodies, I'll review them and promote them on the channel, Tom, no problem. So um, that's what he's done. So I don't know what's in here. I've removed the label with my address and I've cut the tape. But I haven't actually looked in the box, so I do not know what is in here. So we've got some little bits of foam. Which is always handy for putting stuff in and I love getting these little boxes as well because they're great for posting out bits and pieces so in usual any style everything has come beautifully packaged so we'll get rid of our bits of packing material and here we have the invoice and here we have the paper wrapped up a lovely little his presentation and the way he packs stuff is absolutely amazing you can see you get the you know you get the sticker on the back of the box you know crucial hobby goods please handle with care and that's always really cool you got this wrapped up in here or something else in there oh, there's just something else in there okay mass set so um yes yeah, so it's wrapped up in this paper and this is exactly this kind of thing he does these decals and knobs and everything for your cockpit so as i say go take a look i've reviewed a lot of it on the channel so what have we got here we have a sticker <laughs> so there's a sticker which is quite cool uh these things are great now this is a a sort of card that you fold over okay you could put that next to your model or at a show if you're showing your models you can put that there it says please don't touch which is a nice touch i think really nice that sticker is great. I'm going to have to put that on my bench, aren't I? I think. The only trouble is with these is they have the mirror on them. So they, you either get that, which is just a glaring, glaring mess, or you get that, which is quite nice. But it does tend to mess the white balance up on the camera a bit, I think. But uh, we'll get around that. Right. So what's he sent me here? We've got some weighted wheels for Tamiya 148 F35A Lightning 2. And this is part number AN062. They're very nice. And we've got AN061, and this is masking set for Tamiya Canopy and Wheels. As if I didn't have enough masking sets this week. <laughs> so, and there's more on the way, I can assure you. Be ready next week for another masking set review. So, here we have a nice card, which is showing us where everything goes. So we've got um, high quality self adhesive pre cut masks for Tamiya F35, includes masks for the canopy, inside and out, wheels, and other clear parts. So it's nice that we've got inside and out uh, because I don't remember seeing anything on the Tamiya masks about doing the inside. But do remember with this kit, you get two canopies. So if you want to use both canopies, you have to use these very carefully and reuse them or buy two sets, or perhaps use the set that's in the Tamiya kit. And then uh, use these as well. The only problem with the ones in the Tamiya kit, they're not die cut. You have to cut them yourselves, which is never idea. I don't know why they don't die cut them. Um, but you can see here, these are die cut. And if I can catch it in the light. No, I can't. It's, it's beautifully cut. Um, very, very nice indeed. And if I use appropriately these Anise Super Precision Tweezers, which are tweezers, tweezers, which I like to use for masks because they have points on the front that are so sharp you would easily cut yourself with them so be careful with them but basically we can pick out the edge and we can see how finely cut they are yeah they're gorgeous 
Very nice indeed. So whether he's done these himself or sub them out or what, I don't know, but they are very nice indeed. Lovely. And then down here we've got, we've got some tiny little masks there. I don't know what they are. If I can catch it in the light. There you go. There's some tiny little pieces there. I'm not sure what they're for. And then we've got obviously our tires. We've got our front wheels there. And then we've got the inside and outside masks. So that's very, very nice. Oh, we, you can see them there, look. Uh, apply the cannon mask according to the colours. Start inside with yellow, then blue, and then red. That's a nice way of doing it. So uh, inside and outside. I haven't got a clue. Oh, please see original Tamiya instruction sheet for placement of the white elements. So obviously it's going to show us in the instructions where they go. So all very nicely done there. So that's our beautiful masking set. And then here we have some resin wheels for the kit. Because obviously the kit wheels aren't good enough. They never are. Oh, these are nice. Just adjust his glasses. They are very nice. Very nice indeed. So you've got the you've got the um, I'm sure that's the stem the the um, the valve there. That's the word I was looking for. But you can see all the brake detail on the back, which is absolutely gorgeous. And the detail on those wheels is really nice. And then you've got the great big nut on the front wheel as well. And you can see how they're. Printed on a little pedestal, so it's not like having a, a, a cast resin part with a great big plug to cut off. And then here we've got the tyres, which are beautifully done. You can see the tread on them there. And then we have the lettering on the sides, which is both raised and recessed, which is absolutely gorgeous. You can see on there the lettering. On the tires, I'll put some pictures up at the end. I think. Again, you've got these um, these little pedestals that are sitting on, so no great big plugs, and you can also see they're flat spotted. And then there's the front, the nose wheel. Again, lovely restrained tread pattern, and tire lettering on the side, which is gorgeous. So they are very very nice. As I say, I'll put some photographs up at the end of the video. So that is AN062 and this is AN061. So a couple of accessories there worth having. I think for the wheels you can actually buy the program and print them yourself. Um, I don't know if it's restricted to one use or whatever, if you could do 50 copies of them. But uh, there we go. They are lovely. Right, so... Thank you for watching. Um, as I said, it's been a quick one because there's not really a lot you can say about a set of masks and some resin wheels. But as I say, I will put some photographs up now. So now Tom has forced me to do this kit so that I can use these parts. <laughs> but um, I will go and have a look at the instructions and see what these little white bits and pieces are for. Very interesting. So if I can find the instructions because there's a mountain of paper in there. It's like, it's like getting the bloody... The Financial Times, isn't it? It's just crazy. It's full of that model is just full of paperwork. Just quickly, guys, one other thing I've noticed about these wheels, one of these tires, while I'm taking the photograph, they're different, which is always nice. So often you get like a pair of seats in a resin set, and the seats are exactly the same, so the belts are laid exactly the same, the wheels are exactly the same, so the tires are exactly the same, so, you know, the tread, the, the flat spot in relation to the or the weighted area. In relation to the lettering on the tire is exactly the same because they come from the same mold but these are different so i don't know if you can make it out on here but on here the tire logo is across the bottom of the tire and on this one the tire logo is up at kind of i don't know if it's sort of 11 o'clock 10 o'clock so that's a really nice touch same both sides they are different so that's really nice that he's done it like that so thank you for that tom Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.